Hello everybody and welcome to the premiere of my first update of Southwest Florida International Airport in Fort Myers. Uh, yes, this is a new airport coming to the channel, uh, replacing Tallahassee as I announced that in a previous video. Uh, yes, uh, this is the uh, new airport coming to the channel, uh, replacing Tallahassee and as you can see it's a lot bigger than Tallahassee so Hopefully this will be more fun for both of us, get some more airlines in here, and I will uh, go over this uh, airport in detail here. You, you may notice already uh, from just looking at the paper here that, uh, yeah, that does seem a lot more vibrant, and that is because I use these uh, Posca markers, Posca markers, <laughs> um, and you also may have seen uh, Mile High Aviation used those in his airports. Um, he showed them off in a, while he was making his Denver, or while well, still is making his Denver airport. Uh, and that's kind of what inspired me to use those. This is not, this does not look as good as his Denver airport, I must say. But, you know, I, I think it still looks a lot more vibrant. Uh, it looks really nice here. And I'm very happy with how this airport turned out. It's not 100% realistic, but it's as good as I can get it, and I still managed to keep it on my small little sh thin sheet of paper here. Uh, so I think, it, I think it looks pretty good. We got the entire terminal here. Uh, some facts about RSW. I guess one fact, that's well that's the airport code by the way. That's, I'm gonna call it RSW, it's just faster to say it that way. That is the airport code, um, uh, the IATA code, uh, or the a KO code is KRSW, but uh, this airport is unique as in it is, well not unique, but almost unique as is the second largest airport in the United States with only one runway, only behind San Diego, so second to unique, I suppose. Um, it is a, I would say it's a southwest focused city. Uh, we get a lot of southwest here, and you may be able to, you, sorry, you may be able to see that already in this opening scene here. Uh, with plenty of Southwest. There are three concourses, the B concourse, C concourse, and D concourse. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll go over the concourses in a second. I did want to mention that Syracuse Aviation already started uh, his RSW series as well. So I do kind of feel a little bit bad about uh, doing it now that uh, Syracuse Aviation is doing it. Um, check out Syracuse Aviation series. I did announce it like at the same time, so, and I started making it, so I figured I just I'll just do it. This is not like the Colorado Springs where I uh, decided not to do that one because Mile High Aviation was doing it. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter if I do an airport that someone else is doing. Um, I don't know, but <laughs> it's just I thought that I had. But you should definitely check out uh, Syracuse Aviation's airport as as it is great uh, and. It is another series that he's just starting, so uh, all, all, all of his channel is really great. You should definitely check it out. Uh, but without further ado, we'll now get into this airport update. I'll quickly just give a brief tour of the terminal real quick here. So this is Concourse B, and uh, as, you, as you can see here, uh, these are the two wide body gates, the only two, and these are both connected to uh, customs and border control here. So all of the international flights will come into these two gates. The B, the B concourse, I would say, is uh, the most fun. That might just be because this is the only one that I was in um, when I went there. If you remember that trip uh, back in the early days of this channel, I guess not really, but back in, what, February, March? I, think, I guess it was March, yeah. Um, so we flew in on Sun Country, and uh, yeah, that's where they parked. Uh, but the airlines that uh, go to this concourse are Air Canada, Eurowings Discover. Yeah, that's an interesting one, and uh, don't have a model of Eurowings Discover yet, but uh, <laughs> hopefully I'll get one of those. I do have plans to go to Eurowings Discover. I did see them uh, flying here to Bravo One. Uh, Air Canada, well, they operate under Air Canada Rouge, uh, and Alaska Airlines. They both park here at uh, Bravo Three normally. Uh, Bravo Five and. Bravo 7 here are Frontier Gates, uh, Bravo 9 is Sun Country in Southwest, maybe even Frontier 2, and then 
Bravo 2 through 8 are all southwest here. And then we go into the C concourse, and uh, this one doesn't have that many airlines. It has uh, WestJet, the Northern Park here at Charlie One, but that's also used by United. Um, and the, all the gates, all these uh, four up to Charlie Seven, these are all United. And then uh, and maybe maybe Charlie Nine is as well. Uh, but all these are Delta, Charlie Eight through Charlie Two, or the other way around, rather. <laughs> Those are all Delta. So I believe there's only three airlines in that concourse. I'm trying to go through it real quick and see if that's correct. And I think I think that's the only that's those are the only three airlines that park here. And then finally, concourse D. Uh, this has American uh, Bravo or Delta. Sorry, was I saying Bravo here too? I meant Charlie. Sorry about that. Yeah, this is the D concourse. So the Delta uh, one through seven. Those are all American. Um, and then all the even numbers are Spirit. JetBlue and I think even Breeze as well, uh, and maybe Avello too. I'm pretty sure Avello also parks here. So I'll be getting a JetBlue model soon, and uh, I, I at least have plans on it. And hopefully that'll be coming soon uh, to update here and wherever JetBlue flies. If I do a lot of airports that I have on the series, or I guess I wouldn't say a lot, but enough that I should get a JetBlue model already because I don't have one. But I will be getting a JetBlue model, and uh, that'll be in the next massive unboxing. That is a promise. So I'm pushing it back too long. Uh, so we'll get the update started here. We'll go by in order of concourses from the Bravo concourse to the Delta concourse here. I don't know why they don't have an Alpha concourse. I guess this is how they choose to do it here at RSW. Uh, but we'll get it started here uh, with this Air Canada A220. Should mention the time frame for this airport update is uh, just after one o'clock on Saturday, August 20th. And we'll get started here with this Air Canada A220-300 that's filling in for an Air Canada Rouge A321. As I don't have any Air Canada Rouge aircraft in my fleet, so we'll just use this A220 uh, in place of that. Um, this one is just arriving in from Toronto Pearson, and we'll be pulling into Bravo 1. And they'll be later doing turnaround and heading back out there, of course. Now moving into the Bravo Concourse, starting in the back there, we have this Frontier A321 in the Cubby the Bear livery, and the actual aircraft is in the Virginia the Wolf livery. Uh, this one came in from Denver, and uh, we'll do the turnaround and hang back out there. Uh, if you recall from some of my spotting videos, I don't know if I included it too much, but we had a lot of Frontier flights at the time that I was there. They were just coming in right after each other. Once one of them pushed back, we have another uh, Frontier aircraft pull right into the gate. And then our next aircraft, here we have the Sun Country 737-700, uh, this is in the old livery. Uh, and this is filling in for an 800, of course, as they only have one more 700, and it's only a matter of time before that gets retired, unless it already has been. Uh, but I don't think it has been, and it, yeah, it's still, it still baffles me when Sun Country only has one more 737-700. I mean, I'm glad that they do. I miss the 700s, and they were more prominent, and they've only really gotten rid of them in the past really two years uh, so I wish I hope I hope they keep this last one for a little bit longer uh, this one came in from Minneapolis St. Paul where I must be aviations airport and they'll be doing turn around heading back out there and here we have the Southwest 737 800 in the Freedom One livery I still have not gotten the NG model in yet and that'll be in the massive unboxing uh, that I have planned and we'll see when that comes out hopefully it won't be too long uh, when this video is getting released uh, I plan on doing a massive unboxing, and we'll see uh, how long it takes for me to get all the models, but I already have a few of them by the time I'm recording this, and I hope to be getting the rest of them soon. But this one is arriving in, uh, just taxiing into its gate. Uh, we'll be pulling in a Bravo 2. This one arriving from Baltimore, BWI, and uh, we'll be later heading out to uh, Dallas Love Field. And here we have Maryland 1. Uh, this one, uh, 737 700, of course, Southwest Airlines. You can probably tell. Uh, this one came in from Kansas City and it will be heading out to Chicago Midway. And here you have a Southwest 737 700 in the Canyon Blue livery. Uh, this one has splits, but the actual aircraft just had the blended winglets. And this one came in from Chicago Midway and this will be heading out to St. Louis. And just taxiing out of Bravo 2, and that'll, that'll be the gate where the Freedom One pulls into. We have the Southwest Airlines 737-700 with splits in the heart livery. 
and uh, this one came in from Orlando and is heading out to Chicago O'Hare. A little bit interesting there that it's O'Hare and not Midway. Uh, not something I would expect, but uh, this one's heading out to O'Hare a little bit late, uh, but currently taxing out to the runway, and the past these passengers will be uh, soon taken off. So it wasn't too long of a wait for them, fortunately. And I'm moving on into the Charlie Concourse and into the United Aircraft. We have this United 737 MAX 8 in the back there, and this one came in from Newark, and it will be doing the turnaround and heading back out there. And our second United Aircraft here, we have the A319, also in the Evo Blue livery. Uh, and this one came in from Washington Dulles, and uh, also doing the turnaround and heading back out there. And here we have a United 737-800 in the Star Alliance livery. Uh, this one is filling in for just a regular Evo Blue 800, and this one arriving from Chicago here, and uh, we'll also be doing the turnaround and hang back out there. And here we have the Delta 737-900, and this one came in from Minneapolis-St. Paul. Another turnaround here for this one, we'll be hanging back out there. I think we're going to see a lot of turnarounds here, except for the Southwest. Uh, RSW is a pretty big uh, tourist airport, so we don't get really any RJs here. Uh, but a lot of the flights are turns, and they just go to the hubs for each airline, except for Southwest, which which mainly goes to their hub slash focus cities as well. Um, but Southwest has a big presence here. I really do need to get a JetBlue model though, because they also have a really big presence here, um, and maybe even some more Frontier as well. But uh, my two for now seem pretty good, although they are probably getting a little bit repetitive having the same animals in every single airport update. And up next year we have this gorgeous Delta A321. Uh, so glad to have this in the collection so I don't keep using the thank you livery everywhere, but uh, this is an absolute beauty and I'm so happy to finally have it in the collection. Uh, this one came in from Detroit and it'll be doing a turn around and heading back out there. And continuing on here to the concourse, uh, we'll start in the back there with the American A321 and the stand up to cancer livery. Uh, and this one came in from uh, Charlotte and it'll be doing the turn around and heading back out there. And our second aircraft here, we have the A319 in the America West retro livery. Um, this one will be doing the Philadelphia turn. And here we have my Spirit A319 in the old rainbow livery, whatever you want to call it. I still don't know what to call this livery for Spirit. I guess no one really knows, do they? So uh, was, I'm just going to call it the rainbow livery. And yes, this does have a broken landing gear, but I still am using it, even though they don't even have... Uh, the Ethernet 18 with this livery anymore. Uh, this one is currently taxiing out. Uh, we'll be making its way to the runway for its flight out to Atlantic City. And finally, here we have this Spirit A320 in the Bear Fair livery. Uh, this one came in from Chicago O'Hare, and uh, and this will be doing the turnaround and heading back out there. So uh, a lot of Chicago flights in this airport update, but uh, we get this one in here once again. So. Uh, cool to see that uh, Chicago is a pretty popular route here. Also, MSP, I would say, is pretty popular. Uh, unfortunately, now it's only one daily sun country, but that might just be the sea because of the season. No one really wants to go to Florida right now. Uh, and, yeah, I kind of respect that, too, because Florida is freaking hot in summer. So uh, I'm guessing the MSP frequencies will increase a lot when we go into the uh, fall, winter, and uh, spring months. As, well, that's when I went there, so I guess that would make sense. The latest in summer that I've ever gone to Florida was in June. You can't really go any later than that, I would say. Uh, so, <laughs> and June is even stretching a little bit too. Uh, but that'll do it for this update of Fort Myers or RSW or Southwest Florida International Airport, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Thank you all for joining in once again, and uh, and especially to, the, to those of you in the premiere. Uh, thank you for uh, watching it with me here, and uh, I look forward to more of these airport updates coming soon, and I'm super happy with how it turned out, and I'm really excited to uh, keep doing these in the future, as I think this is a much better airport to do than Tallahassee, so, so sorry for you Tallahasseans, is, is that how it's, is that how it's pronounced? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so, sorry to those who live in Tallahassee, but uh, I will no longer be doing that airport, or at least not be consistently doing that airport. Uh, but with that being said, that'll do it for this first Fort Myers airport update. And I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night.
Auf Wiedersehen.